So, welcome to today's episode of Cooking with Chow. My name is Christina and today we're going to show you guys a recipe that is very dear to my heart. Something I like to eat either as a midnight snack or a morning after a night of maybe a couple drinks. The best grilled cheese ever. I know everyone always says that they make the best grilled cheese, but trust me when I say I make the best grilled cheese sandwich. I know typical grilled cheese sandwich is, you know, cheese, bread, butter, like what can go wrong with that? I like to add in a couple more things to really help elevate that flavor and take it up to the next level. So today I'm using a couple slices of some alive and rice toast. The reason I picked this particular bread is because it has, it's like quite dense and it has amazing chew to it. And I really like to get those like extra textures when I'm having a grilled cheese sandwich. So that's what we're using. Let's move to cheese. So cheese is super, super important. The only two things you guys take from this is that to use good quality bread and good quality cheese. So today we're using some American cheese, a little bit of Gouda, and then as well as some old age cheddar just to kind of have that nice flavor profile and then have those really nice flavors mix when we're taking a bite of the sandwich. Moving on to some other things, I like to use some ambrosia apples. You guys know these are my favorite apples. The reason for it is because it is so sweet. It has great crunch and crisp to it. Then we're going to use obviously some butter and then moving to bacon. I'm just using some classic thick cut bacon that I had already made previously. And then I use maple syrup, I know. Uh, I like to use maple syrup because it adds really nice sweetness and obviously because I'm Canadian. And then last but not least, we're gonna use some kimchi. I know there will be some haters, but I love kimchi. Kimchi is so, so good for you. It's packed full of probiotics and we're gonna use it because it adds great spice, a nice like acidity and a little bit of crunch to it. So I am using a cast iron. Okay, so we're gonna turn on our induction stove. While that heats up, what we're going to do is we're going to put that butter and we're going to just brush it on our toast or on our bread. You wanna make sure that you do it quite evenly, get every single area in there. We wanna make sure every area is toasted nicely. I like to use unsalted butter. You can use salted if you'd like personal preference. My preference is unsalted. The reason for it is because the cheese itself, it's quite salty and the bacon is also salty as well. Okay, so you're going to take your slice of bread Pop that in the center. Oh wait, before I do that, rookie mistake, make sure your pan is hot. Don't do what I just did. We want it to have that really nice sizzle and have that really nice texture form. I think it's ready. So we're gonna add in, yeah, that's what you wanna hear, okay? So add that bread in, going to generously coat with your cheese. Make it so that it's quite even. So add that cheese in. Next, I'm going to do my apples. So grab your apples. I just cut them in thin slices and you're just going to just layer them on evenly. And then we're going to add some bacon. Okay, and then we're going to add in our kimchi. So I made some kimchi probably like two weeks ago, I wanna say, so it's been nicely fermented. And we're going to add that in. If you guys want to see how I make kimchi, definitely comment that below and we can make that next time. Okay, and then we're going to finish with more cheese. Oh gosh, this is a loaded sandwich, guys. But perfect for when you're hungover or a midnight snack. It just, I feel like grilled cheese just adds everything that you could ever want in like a sandwich, you know? It just like, it's great. Okay, now you're going to take handy dandy spatula and you're just going to gently, oh, oh God. <laughs> gently, gently flip that over. It's gonna be a little messy, but that's okay. Okay, it is a very delicious sandwich. So we're gonna make sure that everything is back in good condition. For an extra tip, if you want to help the cheese melt faster, I like to add a lid on top. So we're gonna go grab that quickly. Okay, and we're gonna give that a couple minutes. 
So yeah, so I used to work at this breakfast restaurant like when I first started working when I was like really, really young and they put maple syrup in their sandwiches and it was like life changing. Let me tell you, it was so good. Just trust me when it's good, trust me. Okay, let's check on this. Okay, so the cheese is melting really, really nicely. Gonna grab your spatula. We're gonna do the classic little squeeze of the grilled cheese. I just feel like when you're making sandwiches that are hot, they just taste better when everything's just squished together. And I think it's also so that your bread helps to really absorb some of that like flavor from all the different elements that we're putting in it. So something that I would do, definitely recommend. I want it to have a little bit more of a crust. So we're just going to pop this up, crank it two notches and we'll see how it is. I think we're almost done. So we're going to take this off, bring it back to our cutting board, pop that back on, grab your knife. Well, this grilled cheese looks a little ugly, hey? All that matters is that it tastes good. Okay, so guys, listen to this. Mm, yeah. You guys hear that? Grab your plate. And then grab your grilled cheese. And I just like to just nicely just pop it on top of each other. That looks a little ugly, but it's cute. It's rustic. Now we're going to do a taste test, guys. What do we think? Can we do a cheese bowl? No, there's no cheese coming out. Mmm. Nice. That is so good. So, so, so good. Brings me back to just late night memories. Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> morning memories and something that we also want to do maple syrup so i like to just dip it in there just to give it that extra sweetness mm. i feel like when i eat this i just have like a meat song that starts to play in my head Thank you guys so much for... Wait, can I cut it and do it again? Wait, I wanna cut and show it again. I wanna remake it. For grilled cheese, I feel like butter tastes better though, but mayo does burn better. Yeah. The umaminess. Did you guys finish the other one too? Okay, good. Okay. Uh, actually, it's fine. I'll just use a different plate. Honestly, I don't even think I need a plate. Yo, I don't need a plate. Just take it. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna start it at the point where I say, okay, I think we're ready, okay? Okay, guys, so now let's check on our grilled cheese. I think it's just about done. So we're gonna check on that bottom. Oh, do you guys see that? It's got nice color to it. Oh, that's hot. We're not gonna show them that. Guys. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Look at these layers, okay? This, these are the layers I want in life, okay? You got some beautiful crusted bread with really, really nice texture. You got nice cheese in there. You got nice apples and some kimchi. This is just everything you could ever want in a sandwich. Now we're gonna do a taste test. It's not gonna be cute, but we'll try. Mmm, mmm, mmm! Mmm. Look at that drip. I need to work on that. So you have beautiful, beautiful bread, okay? Has that really, it's like a nice, beautiful canvas. Then you have that really, really nice, rich cheese. You can really taste like the different parts of the, the Gouda, that cheddar cheese, that American cheese that we are using. All of those really nice flavor profiles all mixed so nicely together. And then 
you have a really nice sweet and crunchy texture from the apple that we put in and then you have that nice chewy and like really nice fattiness from the bacon that we also put in that also complements with its nice saltiness and then the spiciness of the kimchi kicks in with that really really nice acidity and really nice bite to it and then okay there's also maple syrup that just ties everything up so nicely. It's like the nice packaging on top with a nice little bow. This is so, so good. If you guys don't think so, I dare you guys to comment it below. If you guys do make this, I would love to see your creations. I hope you guys had fun with me and maybe learned a two or thing, a couple two or thing. And yeah, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now. A two or thing. I want or two, a one or two. No, wait, wait, what is it? A thing or two. Are you gonna cut? <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs>